So this is just a test interface to see if things work. So what we've got here, I'm going to enable one, which is then going to move the jaw. Okay. So that's probably what um, he was doing anyway. This will be a head nod. You hear it, it's not quiet. And you can see it's not real smooth. Okay. And then we got, uh, this will be head tilt side to side. That's pretty good range, huh? Oh yeah, and it has a little bit more. But I'd rather it, you know, uh, not have the cables get bound up or anything like that. You know sure. what I mean? So that's what's going on here. But um, when I turned this guy on, earlier he was making noise. I see. The holding power was, was, was making noise. And it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? So, uh, but because these guys are going to be pretty delicate with, um, you know, feathers and everything, they're likely to be in their own glass cage. So we can control sure. the sound. Okay, I like to leave them centered. So that's really the demo. It's it's not much, but the point is we're doing it. You know, this is currently off a battery pack. We suspect that's why the motion's not smooth. Um, uh, we've already learned a fair amount. Oh, one one thing that here's here's another thing. This guy will go back far enough where his shields get in, into the gears. All right. So that's a design thing you'd say, hmm, wouldn't it be nice if there was a, 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 a limit to travel so it wouldn't cause a bind. But, uh, you know, we can talk to John about that in the future. In, in reality, the way it's controlled is we set the limits here, how I far see. it can go. So we really don't have to worry about that. Gotcha, that makes you know, sense. Later we won't. But because it's servo-driven and there aren't mechanical stops, without power, it may just head loop all the way down. Right. Okay. Wow. So we'll and there's really no stop at all, so it can just do a full 180, right? Um, it could do probably a 180, right? You know, um, if you look at the uh, the head turn side to side, it's got a half gear in there, so it'll turn 90 and turn 90, which is nice to have that kind of flexibility. We'll, we may choose to do less. Okay. Right. But uh, overall, it's cool stuff. Awesome. And more than cool. It's, it's, it's very useful. We're going to be able to make this a demo, okay, whether you have it in the main show or not. Currently, uh, control is done by just a test program um, uh, that, that came with the, uh, the little card, the uh, Mini Maestro, the single control up to 12 servos. Um, and one of the things that we learned is we really want the next level up because that way we can uh, have the power cords come in on something other than these little servo cable uh, connections. Um, we've got a, a micro USB connection, much like the helper tooth. Um, you know, you've got uh, some, some LEDs giving you some feedback. You'll see an orange one. You won't see a red one on, which is good. We don't have any errors. This thing can control, uh, it has 8K of uh, scripting that can be saved. So, you know, we can have it actually do a demo and repeat and repeat and repeat over and over, but uh, we'll probably keep it under computer control. So um, four AA batteries uh, powering this thing, all the servos that are connected. Right now we've got three servos connected. We've got jaw uh, via the test interface. Uh, we've got head nod. And again, it will get smoother when we have uh, a better power supply, more current. And then we also have head tilt. Now, it, it, this uh, uh, macaw will, uh, or animatronic macaw, will also support head turn left and right uh, via this cable, um, and then the whole neck moving forward and back via this guy. But the cables are just a little too tight at the moment, so um, I prefer not to connect those right now. Okay, and they really require a little more juice anyway. Cool stuff. All right. So you see that, you know, I don't leave it powered on there. You know? Okay. Uh, I, I enable one, you know, until I get the PC power supply. Gotcha. You know, and the longer cables. I enable one, do that. Enable the next, do that. Makes sense. Okay. Well, that's cool. Great start. It's exciting to see it moving. Well, for me, it's always about get something. It's so easy to build on and build on and build on and build on.
Okay? Right, right. But you need to get it here. You need to figure out how this stuff works. You need to get you know it working on the on the PC. You need to get some sort of power supply. And once you have the motion, I can replace the power supply. Then have smooth motion. I can then um, you know longer cables. I can have all five of them going. Right. I can then mount this here and not have to worry about it falling off. I can uh, uh, then start having the uh, you know set additional play with this a little bit more, learn a little bit more about the limits, and then uh, computer control it via the uh, you know the application that uh, that they sent, and then my own software to. Um, you know, as I'm talking to you right now, you would just do this. Okay? So, on our meeting on the 8th or the 15th, by the 15th for sure, by the 8th at least, I'll have some stuff. But I want it to carry on a little bit of a conversation, not interactive. I'm excited that it's out of the video realm. It's out of the cinema realm. It's physical. It's tangible. Yeah, exactly. We've it's a real life already character. learned a lot. Uh, it's my intention, you know, after I get the other stuff working with the software, also to do the joystick. Gotcha. That may be cool. That is not likely to be ready on the 8th. That should be ready by the 15th. If you want to push the whole thing to the 15th, I think that's an I'm sense. more comfortable with that because I don't Let's think do you're going to have the stuff here by the okay. by this weekend. That's true. Which is what I'd need to do the stuff on the 8th. All right. So let's let's shoot for the 15th. Okay. And, and that you can start sending time out the invites. Yeah. And, and you can... Um, Determine how you want to, how much you want to tell people. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Don't set the, the bar real high. Right. I'd okay. rather the bar be, hey, come and see what we got, and we do have some motion. And then they come in and say, wow, you right. know, or, wow, that's pretty cool. Would you this. use that that software right there? We might start that way. Okay. That Would way you record people... cues with that software? Does it allow you to record motions? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So it's I don't know. What, yeah, that's just, you know, just much like the helper tooth test thing, I'm making a move. I'm making a move okay. before you do the vertical. You so know? you think you might have some custom stuff by then? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I can leverage most of what I've got from the motion platform. Okay. 90% of that software is the same. That's why I believe I can have the joystick going. Wow. Okay. Neat. So uh, I won't be recording a bunch of sequences, um, but I will have figured out the sequence for the jaw. And, you know... He might talk for a minute to five minutes. He's got some jokes to tell. I am uh, a little concerned, you know, that uh, about the um, about things staying. You know, you can't just use just a servo. Right. A servo and an actuator would probably work fine, and they're not going to be that expensive. It's going to be very important to get Dave involved too, from his perspective, because he's got great insight. Yeah. You know, he does more of this stuff regularly. I'm uh, happy with what we've, uh, you know, received from John. I'm happy with uh, the suggestions he had for the uh, Mini Maestro. I think it's a very versatile card. Um, we've, uh, you know, made some good progress. And now that we've got something here and moving, then it's easier to, uh, to take the next step, um, you know, to automate stuff, to get the better, uh, you know, the smooth motions. Etc. to uh, to try to make the longer sequences, and uh, uh, I think we're going to be you know not only having fun but we're going to uh, be producing something kind of unique, and uh, should draw more people awesome. to hear God's message. <laughs>